Now I hear you ask why bother with app images? Why not just get all the software right from the distribution? Well, consider this use case. I'm running CentOS 7 here, a stable enterprise-grade Linux distribution, and I want to install the latest version of some application software. Let's say I'm interested in Krita, the digital painting application. Well, I could try to get that from my distribution's repository. However, given that CentOS 7 is a stable enterprise distribution, it's very likely that the version of Krita is actually quite old, maybe a couple of years old even. And I'm certainly not getting the very latest version 3.0 that was released a couple of days ago. But thanks to App Image, if I go to Krita.org, the official Krita homepage, and click on Download, they are now offering an App Image, which, which makes it really, really easy to get the latest 3.0 version, even for mature operating systems like Ubuntu 12.04 or CentOS 6. Now I just click on the download here, and the Krita download is starting. I'm saving it to disk. And once this has downloaded, it's really easy. I just go to my download directory. And once the download is finished, it's not the fastest today. Well, here it's coming. So once the download has finished, I need to do one more step, and that is make the application executable. That's actually a security feature. So we go to properties, and here we have to set the executable bit. Once we have done that, just double-click the application and Krita 3.0, the just-released version, is running perfectly well on CentOS 7, that is a stable enterprise distribution. This is just one of the use cases for App Image. I can imagine it's also useful for running, for example, nightly builds or running multiple versions of the same application in parallel.